back with a new video and it has been a very long time since we filmed a video and we're very excited to give you something new and this time we have our second episode of our mukbang reaction video you remember last time we did the pakistani music yes. and the pakistani cookies right and so far it has 6400 what yes. 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 Yeah, and we read a lot of your comments and a lot of you also requested for other music from other countries. And we had a very great idea from Sandra. Yay! So, Sandra, can you tell our viewers what we will be doing, watching, and eating for today? Okay. Uh, so, yeah, um, as you all know, or no, maybe you don't know, I'm also... I'm Swiss, but I'm also Portuguese, so I thought that I wanted to share my Portuguese side with you guys and with the two of them. So first of all, we I decided to bring some snacks that oh, everybody that is gonna nice. try. The so yeah, is pretty. So yeah. Well, short a little disclaimer. I bought them here in Korea, so it's probably not gonna be the same thing as in Portugal. So, but I still hope they're delicious. I've tried them before, so they're pretty good. Um, so they're called pastel de nata. Mm -hmm. um, and it's kind of a pastry, sweet um, dessert that we have in Portugal and it's very popular and usually tourists and foreigners really love it too. So, yes. Does it have any filling inside? Yeah, it's very creamy inside and it's ah. like, yeah, it's like a little tart. They call it egg tart also in Asia. Ah, really? But yeah, it's slightly different. Mm. That's why I'm like, mm, slightly different. But that's it. and. The song mm -hmm. that I chose is, um, well, this time I'm going for a more sad song mm -hmm. because um, there is like a typical genre that we have in, in Portugal. It's called Fado. Fado. Uh, F-A-D-O. Fado. And you don't see it in other countries. It's actually a very unique Portuguese music style and it's uh, very melancholic usually, it can be also a little bit uh, upbeat, but um, the one I chose is a more sadder one and well, I will explain more what the topic is of the song, but um, I hope you can feel the emotions that the singer also feels. Yes. That sounds interesting. Yeah. So, yeah. Without further ado, let's start our mukbang reaction video. Yay! Let's open this yeah, first, let's huh? Let's open it first. Yeah, what? Look at yeah, how actually, nicely they did it. We can, we can let them see the packaging. <laughs> so here it says pastel de nata. Uh, do, you, do you pronounce it as pastel? Oh, pas pastel de nata. Pastel. Yes. And this... this um, yeah, the symbol mm -hmm. is actually like kind of the symbol of Portugal. This. Oh, it's is it? A what bird? kind of bird is that? Um, oh, what is the... It's a partridge. It's not a chicken, it's the Turkey? other... No, it, it's still a chicken. <laughs> 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 I saw chicken. But it's the rooster. The rooster. Ah, the rooster. Ah, really okay, so that's the symbol. Yes. Oh, okay, how to open this. Oh! Ta -da! It's like a... Egg tart. It's so cute. You don't drop them. Oh. I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I took four, so. Wow. There you go. That's really good. Okay then. Cheers. Hold on. I'm off your shoulder. Oh yeah, we might make a mess with this. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't think so, about that. Yeah, this is this is what it looks like if you see closely. It's it's like an, an egg tart. Yeah. You oh, it looks pickers. delicious. You. Oh, the outside is like what we have for patties. Yeah, it's I, kind of crumbly. Do, do, yeah, yeah, do you know what? Do you guys have patties in the yeah, Philippines? Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. It's crumbly well, like, like that. The brand is called Jamaican Patty. Oh, um, really? Yeah, and it has meat inside. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. But without the Jamaican though yeah. for us. But, but yeah, I like patty. this kind of texture, like uh, flaky. Yes. Flaky, yeah. But it causes a mess always. Yeah, yeah so I'm sorry. This material. Okay then, so let's enjoy Sandra. And let's watch the video. Press play. Okay. I'm nervous.
Mm. Oh, this is Lisbon, you see? Mm -hmm. Very ah. famous. Uh, um, one more? Yeah, like one. Mm. Lisboa. What is the song all about? Um, the song basically shortly is like um, kind of trying to show the, the sadness mm -hmm. of Portuguese mm -hmm. that Portuguese people feel all around the world. Mm -hmm. It's like a un unifying song. Mm -hmm. A lot of nostalgia, right. longing and Vontade de chorar means wanna cry. I wanna, wanna cry. cry. Now I understand. The sadness that I carry. Mm. But her voice actually reminds me of a Persian singer called Khanem Gugosh. Okay. Like her, her, the way she's singing, mm. she has the same kind of style as Khanem Gugosh. She was very famous before the Iranian Revolution. Mm. Yeah. This guitars in the background is also very mm -hmm. Portuguese. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are those like traditional mm -hmm. instruments for your country? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you call this guitar? The string instrument? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I have to <laughs> search for that. I see. Like her concert? Mm hmm. Oh. And is this her own song? Actually, it was another um, father singer, mm -hmm. um, but she died. Um, she was like, she was a legend. Uh -huh. She is a legend. Um, Amalia Rodriguez, she mm -hmm. wrote the song. But she kind of made it mm. big. Yeah, even just the instrumental, it's very emotional. The song usually doesn't have this big of a break. Mm. It's just. She's trying to get herself together. Mm -hmm. And people are very emotional about this song. Mm -hmm. 
How did you like the the tar? It's really, really nice. good. Yeah. <laughs> I love it's how it's subtly sweet. Mm, it's not that sweet. Yeah. Mm. She has so much control over her yeah. voice. Yeah. Her vocal technique is really good. Mm. Very controlled. Like, yeah, it's controlled. But she can belt and hit the high notes, but right. still stay in the. You know, sing it cleanly. Mm. But as far as the instrumentation goes, you can sense that this is somewhat Mediterranean mm -hmm. in its sound. The kind of instrumentation that's going on, it's got that feeling of. That entire region, whether in North Africa or Southern Europe, mm, that's what I love about the Mediterranean. They keep having influences over one another culturally. So yeah, you can sense that in the music. Yeah, I think that's yeah. People just clapping. <laughs> yeah, Very moving, moving performance. <laughs> oh, she is a legend too. So, <laughs> now that we watched the video, I'm really curious to hear about you guys' opinion and about the song and about the snacks. <laughs> you can choose what, what you <laughs> <laughs> Of course, I will go with the snacks first. Okay. <laughs> I think I was the first one to finish it earlier. <laughs> I didn't realize that I was already you know, taking the last bite. You were bite, just like, but Go! <laughs> yeah, it was really good. Um, but I, I think that the balance between the sweetness and the creaminess is perfect for me. So it's not that overpowering, like the taste, it's very subtle. And the texture as well. It's kind of like flaky and a bit crispy when you bite it. Yeah. So I really liked it. And the music, um, yeah, I, I mentioned earlier that the singer, what's her name again? Marisa? Marisa. Yeah, like her control, her voice control, it's really good and I think that, yeah, like what you mentioned, this song, I would love to understand it. Mm -hmm. I think it, I will appreciate it more if I know the lyrics. But yeah, I think the people, especially in this concert, they really got moved by the message of the song and how the singer delivered it. True. Thank you. It's what great. about you? So yeah, I loved how the food was subtly sweet. Uh, it's a very different kind of dessert from the way we have it. <laughs> but oh, I, you have something. I do? Okay. On the other side, yes. <laughs> like a kid. <laughs> it was that delicious. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but anyway, so it was really nice. It was very, very soft. And I liked the level of sweetness that it had. So, other than that, for the music. Uh, for me, I think it was more, more about the orchestration, the instrumentation. I think that was really brilliant. And it really does kind of like, there's something about it that can take you through the ages. Like, there's some element of it that's very, his like, I love history. So it's kind of like taking me through history. There's something about the sound. I don't know what it is, mm -hmm. but it's just got that kind of influence. So yeah, and she had a beautiful voice very very well sung so yeah if you would love to like to tell us more about what the song is about yeah i'm curious about the lyrics um okay so i during the song i was also translating like literally mm -hmm. um but i think what i found like i was researching a little bit online and i found someone who made a comment mm -hmm. about the meaning of the song mm -hmm. and i took a picture here it is. Um, so basically, the, the song is called oh, Gente de Mia Terra, which means, oh, people of my land. Ah. 
So, and this song is a tribute to the land of melancholia, longing, and saudade. Saudade is a Portuguese word. It's really difficult to translate in 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 English, but it basically it's longing with nostalgia plus like the feeling that you're not gonna get back. Mm. What How do you say it again? Saudade, mm. or like yeah, Brazilian style saudade. Mm. But anyway, same thing. Um, the singer and the audience are so moved because they share the Portuguese experience, destiny that chains us all. When you hear the groans of a guitar singing, um, it's like the melody is calling you home and you could almost see it as a lullaby, but it's really agony. The sadness that I bring with me, I inherited from all of you, is a reference to the melancholy and the heart of the Portuguese people and that it is inherited from our ancestors. The men who lost their lives at sea, the lonely women waiting at the altar, the shattered children, the emigrants. This music embodies this feeling that all Portuguese can relate to and, and that is part of our core being. I thought that was really nicely put. It's just because Portuguese people, they, many of them, went to other countries, mm. emigrated, right? But songs like this reconnect us. It's like mm. we're still one country. Mm. Yeah. So I, I thought that was really nice to, to share this with you. Mm. And yeah, about the, the, the pastry, usually we put like lemon into it. Mm. So it has a more like citrusy flavor. Nice. So this is more like vanilla flavor. Right. That's why I'm like, it's not exactly the same thing, uh, but well, close enough. I love baked goods with lemon rinds inside. Oh, best thing ever. Lemon mm. zest, lemon rinds. Yeah. Best desserts ever. But uh, yeah. What else? <laughs> 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 so that's the end of our video. And uh, if you like this kind of videos that we make, well, like mukbang reaction kind of videos, uh, then comment down below and also like and subscribe to Sherwin's channel. <laughs> I'm ending the video, but it's Sherwin's channel. So uh, yes, and we would. Uh, <laughs> and I, we hope to see you soon. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye!